I know you're probably swamped, but I need this finalized as soon as possible. Okay, okay, fine. I'll be around the hotel. Thank you. You got a minute? No, I don't have a minute for you. It's about your brother. I need some information. I don't care what you need, you or Sonny. Okay, what about Sam? Hmm. What do you think? Huh? I was gonna go for Lincoln or Rasputin, maybe. He's more in character. Yes. I might as well have gagged you for all your chatter. You're sick. Ah, there she is. That's my sweet Sam. What are you doing? I'm preparing a more intimate affair. See, so you, me, and a few pounds of plastique. It's amazing how innocuous plastique is until you add a very potent electrical charge to it. Come on, put on your pussy face because we're going to have a blast. Sam thinks that Jerry's involved in a drug read, so she's trying to get evidence to prove to Alexis that Jerry's still bad news. Why should Alexis be different to any other woman in town, huh? Okay, Jerry. I mean, death and danger so, Jerry, right? Jerry asked Sam to meet him in an alley. When she got there, it exploded. I found the detonator. It was the same kind that your brother used here. Now Sam's disappeared. One of her neighbors said she saw Sam leaving with Jerry. Well, it seems like you got your work cut out for you. Just do me a favor and leave me out of it, okay? You know, I think I'm making too many of these. I mean, one in the engine room, one in the forward hull, one in the aft. It's quite sufficient to sink us, really. But, you know what? I've always had a weakness for extravagant gestures. What are you really doing? I mean, I don't... Why would you blow up a ship you could use to get away? Who said I was getting away? I imagine it took a lot for you to actually ask for help. But there's nothing I can do. No, I don't think you're hearing me. Your brother's running drugs and may have kidnapped I Sam. I don't think Jackson. you're hearing me. I don't know anything about it. I don't want to know anything about it. But if you want to track down my brother, be my guest. You want to search his room, I'll leave an okay at the front desk for you. My dislike for your side, I don't doubt your ability. Just call your brother. And tell him what? Jason Morgan suspects you of nefarious deeds and has finally gotten around to killing you? If Jerry weren't smuggling drugs, it'd be something else. It's how he lives. It's how you and Sonny and Carly live. From one disaster to another. And it's your choice, your mess. You can clean it up yourself. You don't have to blow yourself up. <laughs> no. I mean, you talk about me getting away. Where? I've been to the continents, I've been to the seven seas, I've had different names and different faces with all varying degrees of success, and they've all led me here, to the proverbial dead end. A man like you doesn't give up? Why is it different for you? A life of larceny, a life where love is always out of reach. Not that we really need that, you and I. But I do. Oh, oh, you don't have to be scared. It's terrible to be scared. It leaves your soul ragged. You wander, apparently, through eternity. You don't have to do this. I know places that are safe and really beautiful. Oh, I know Nobody do, will find us. I'm I... sure, I'm sure, darling. I know. You know, the problem with safe and beautiful places is they become boring. And you'd escape at the first opportunity. No, no, no. I'm going to take you to a place where you'll never be tempted to leave. A place where, if we're lucky, we'll be mourned and hunted. Please don't. Come on, five. Don't! Stop! Four. You're crazy! Stop Give it! Me three. No, don't! Come on! No! Come on with a smile! No! Please! No! No! <laughs> you really think I have such a dim view of the world so as to blow myself up? No, there are, there are still jewels to fondle, women to steal, or vice versa. You see, the detonator was not activated. Timing is crucial. I will not blow up the boat until I get possession of the shipment and the payment is received to my account. And what are you going to do? Cut Karpov out of the deal and make off with the drugs and the cash? Well, truth be told, I was skimming, you know, from the top, so now I can just cash in and run. Oh. Okay, so you will make sure that the police or Jason or Karpov, they won't come after you because they're all going to think you're dead. Well, I feel a little bad, you know, 
tarnishing the memories that your mother and Jack have of me, but I think it's better off if they think I'm dead. <laughs> and what am I, your insurance? Oh, no, 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 my dear. See, you, you are the glue that holds my scheme together. Jack O'Pi was very impressed with Stone Cold's physiological sweep of the Demented One's room. Well, there wasn't much to find. Right, so in order to calculate our next move, we must review the case so far, okay. namely a room with all of Jerry's personal stuff and clothes neatly left behind, which would indicate to me either a, a sudden departure or a planned return. Or he did a sweep of his own on the room because he left nothing for us to trace. So I, what do we do? We go back further? Yeah. Good. Good idea. All right. Let's 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 start with the explosion. Let's assume that Jerry's the one who said it. Okay. He needed materials of a specific variety. Jack O'Pi will see if any purveyors of such goods made any recent sales. Something's not adding up. Jerry calls Sam to an alley. Sets off an explosion using all the same materials he used in the hostage crisis, and then he grabs Sam from an apartment within sight of her neighbor. Yeah, it's as if he's trying to tell us something and that somehow their Samantha is entwined. Okay, but why does Jerry need Sam? Why is she so important to him? Obviously for a plan of large proportion. What is it? Who is it? Who's Jay Bradley? Uh, it's one of the Demented One's many aliases. Look at the amount of pounds of plastic explosive he purchased and had delivered earlier today. That's enough to blow something, Scott. Uh, what, so this is just a game now? Oh. I gotta guess my usefulness. <laughs> oh god, I'm here I was getting dreadfully bored at assembling these explosives. I'm just wondering if you're gonna blow up the ship, how are you gonna save the drugs? Oh, That's so all. many questions. Can you please answer no, me? explanations are tedious. Why, why don't we liven it up a bit, huh? Do you remember that game we played at the Metro Course? Oh, I remember a lot of sadistic games you used to play. Yeah, so do I, quite frankly. No, I was referring to the game of catch. <laughs> Very good, sweet Sam. As long as you play the game, I can give you answers. What if I stop playing? Well, I can think of another game with higher stakes. That's your turn, Sam. <clears throat> Why do you want to blow up the ship? Ah, well, that one deserves an answer, I think. You see, Karpov is part of an extremely violent syndicate that I wouldn't even want pursuing me. Consequently, the ship will blow up with enough product inside it so that people think that the shipment is completely lost as well as my blood and DNA so it will convince them that I'm lost with it. Wonderful, isn't it? Yeah, and what about me? Different question. Answer me, please. <laughs> well, I can bet that whatever's left of your beautiful, sexy, dead body will convince them that we both went down with the ship. <laughs>